Hello everybody, Sigrev2 here, back again with another video for you all. I uh, just want to do a, a little bit of a rant about something that's come to my attention recently. Figured I'd just throw in my two cents, whether they're necessary or not. First things first, yes, I am aware uh, that my room is messy. I'm in the process of cleaning it, so I do apologize, you know. If the bottles and the cans and shit behind me bother you that much, there's other videos you can watch. Uh, secondly, I don't have my proper microphone set up, but I do have, or my webcam set up, but I do have my microphone set up. So hopefully all is well on that front. Now it's come to my attention that a certain user uh, in the Rhythm Game community recently posted a... I guess a, a manifesto or their own little rant. Kind of discussing some things that uh, has been had been affecting them lately. And I was directed towards it because uh, recently there had been some issues with this person that I had been vocal against. And so I tried to watch their video and I just wanted to say that it's a massive crock of shit. Going on for 45 plus minutes straight. It's just a massive crock of shit. Uh, it seems to me that they did not understand why people were upset with them in the first place. And they don't didn't want to take any responsibility whatso, whatsoever of the actions that caused them to get to that point. And it, it irritates me especially because the, they were tweeting... After the whole situation went down, I'm being vague about it, but I, I don't really want to go too in depth with the whole topic. I don't want to spark the flame again. I don't want to go through all this shit again. And I was hoping that it would have been the end of it when this all went down. But uh, in their video, they were talking about how they were tweeting, how they wanted to end themselves, how they wanted to take their life and they were expressing confused like they, they didn't understand why people would be so upset by that by them saying like oh well I want to end my life and they tried to pass it off as something like oh I said it because that meant uh that I was going to, to end it something about music and it, uh, uh, I, I don't r really understand the rationale that they tried to use they said Oh, I wanted to end it all and so, uh, to focus on the music. I wanted to end this part of my life so I can continue on and do something greater with my time. And constantly going on about how oh nobody under nobody who got involved with that whole situation understands me. They don't know me, and it's like, well, I I made my tweets on this situation. You can go back and read them. I didn't delete them. That you can go back and read them, and I'm like, I, I don't know who this person is, but ever since I first found out about them, and I saw that they were just saying absolute heinous shit about people behind their backs, in front of their faces, to their buddies online, and on top of that, they were dropping private conversations about uh, involving one of my friends that I'm also not going to name, but they know who they are. They were dropping private conversations that were had with this person while they were going through an absolutely disgustingly difficult time in their life. They were losing their mother. They were losing their home. They were on the absolute breaking point of their life. And of course, when you're going through absolute mental turmoil, you're going to say some dumb shit. You're going to say some things you might not necessarily agree with, but it's also at the point where you kind of have to give someone the benefit of the doubt when they're not normally like this, that they're not normally this type of person, that they're going through some shit and they don't know how to handle it. And you're well aware of this fact and you capitalized on it to try to make a mockery out of them and try to get them canceled in the community and they're still affected by it to this day. They're still affected to uh, to it by this day because people still keep bringing it up and people still keep reminding them of that situation. And ever since that I saw that video this person made, 
that's in there smoking on their little cigarette or their joint and claiming that, oh, well, I won. I won because I didn't let the trolls get the better of me. It's like, no, you, you kind of did. You, you kind of shot yourself in the foot because you're trying to pretend like, oh, I have all this forbidden knowledge. I could do this, that, and the third. And that I'm pretty much better than all of you. It's like, no, you got banned from sows. Like, okay, congratulations. No one's impressed that you know what sows is. It's a, been a very open secret in this community ever since it's happened. Like, no one really gives a shit. And you're not impressing anyone by saying, oh, well, I can afford to go pay Konami to play their games. And I don't have to resort to stealing and pirating. It's like, you seem to not understand the concept or the process of what's going on here. It's like, it's not necessarily stealing content. It's more like, Hey, I don't live in a place where I have ready, steady access to this kind of shit. And I would love to be able to play them. And I'm not about to drive three plus hours to the nearest arcade in hopes that they have a working machine or yeah. The only way I'm able to buy this soundtrack is if I buy it from overseas for over several hundred dollars and I can't do that. And I, really would like to listen to it and on top of that it's not like that they're still making that album readily available so they would get no monetary benefits from that anyway but i digress i digress going through all this shit and saying how they're better than them than the sows people and that they're better than my friend that was going through some shit and then the other week when people were finally had enough of your shit and your backstabbing lies and all your absolute nonsense and all your drug pushing behind the scenes. And all of a sudden you're, you, I'm the victim. I'm the victim. You don't know me. You don't know my situation. I'm going to go kill myself and there's nothing that you can do about it. I'm going to emotionally manipulate you so I can get my way so I can pass the buck and not have to pay, give responsibility for any of my actions. It's like, no, you're an asshole. You can sit there and rant for 45 minutes all you want, and if this is all you're going to say, you're, you're an asshole. You won't admit to any of the things that you were called out on. You won't admit to any of the things that you've done, and instead you want to pass the buck and try to shift the blame onto somebody else because you can't handle it. Because you want to be the victim, because you want to be everybody's best friend in this community, but you can't seem to understand that, hey, maybe I'm part of the problem here. It's like there's assholes like you in this community that have made this such a difficult spot for everyone else because you like to lie, you like to manipulate, and you like to deceive people and try to put on a smiley, happy face and act like you're everyone's friend. But the minute that something doesn't go your way, you're the, you're the most heavy-handed victim and, oh my God, woe is me. I'm going to kill myself and I'm going to manipulate all of my friends. I'm going to emotionally, emotionally manipulate them and act like and it's like, oh, there's nothing you can do. You're going to lose your best friend. Like, you're a piece of shit. It's, it's honestly disgusting that there's people like this that constantly pull this high school, middle school bullshit. Like, like who are you trying to impress? No one is believing your shit. Everyone has, everyone is able to see through the lies at this point. It's an entirely different situation like if people were making false claims and they weren't able to back them up and and you, you were worried that people were going to get a, be misinformed and mis like no it's not that people called you out had the proof to back up these call outs and you acted like a child threw a temper tantrum responded to every single person that you possibly could well, you and your significant other and DMing that DMing people out of the blues, just spamming up their messages, spamming up their fucking notifications on Twitter. And then when you wouldn't get the reaction that you wanted because people were finally seeing through, you're like, all right, well, that's it. Guess I'm going to guess I'm going to off myself because that's the only thing that I could do. And then you make your 45 minute long rant, not actually admitting to any of your faults and not actually admitting to what was going on but instead you want to sit there on your high horse and try to pretend that you're better than people and better than the people on sows and better than the people in the community and better than the people in the fighting game community whatever the fuck that has to do with anything 
Like I watched about 10 minutes of that video. I pretty much got the gist of it. I skimmed through it and I was correct. It's the exact same bullshit. You don't want to admit to anything. You don't want to admit that you're wrong, that you fucked up. And don't, so don't be surprised when people don't want you around in this community. And you can look at me and like, oh, well, I don't know who this Sigrev guy is. And you tried pulling that stunt on me when I said what I did on Twitter. You can go, oh, I don't know who this Sigrev guy is. I've never met him before in my life. I don't know what he seems to think he knows. It's like, because I know people that know this shit and they tell me what's going on. Like, it's not that difficult. It's not like I'm just some random nobody. Just because you got thousands of followers or whatever on Twitter doesn't mean that I'm just some nobody that nobody knows what's going on. Like, I'm, I'm not as much of an idiot as you want to believe that I am just because you never met me before, but I'm, I'm saying what the fuck that I know. But anyway, I've had enough of this person. Um, pretty much any person in the rhythm game community that constantly tries to stir up drama and nonsense and never wants to take responsibility for their actions. Basically, they're, a lot of these people are just absolute scumbags. And there's a lot of people in this community that we have, we need to weed out. We absolutely need to weed these people out, these manipulators. We already have more than enough fungas in this community and that's already enough of a fucking blemish. So if you want to make the comparison to the fighting game community, the Smash community, yeah, congratulations. Now we're tapping into that reservoir. That's the last thing that any of us needed, but here we are. It's just absolute nonsense. Like, you can't just sit there and act like you're the victim when you are quite easily the problem. And you can send all your goonies all you, all you want to try to tell me to do to kill myself and delete this video and pat and you know try to look up shit on me congratulations you'll find no dirt on me because the worst thing that I've done oh 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 no he said retard one time on twitter we got to cancel him like grow up <laughs> fucking grow up but anyway hopefully Everyone is watching that is watching and has watched this far. I hope you're having a great day. Hopefully, uh, you, you don't fall for any of this person's bullshit anymore and you know better. And um, I really don't know what else to say. Um, I actually know. I kind of know what I want to say. Because I know that the person that I'm talking about will likely watch this video because they always do name searching and always they'll find this video. I don't want you to take this as me saying you're an absolute 100% awful piece of shit. I don't want you to make it out like I'm trying to make, like I'm trying to say awful heinous shit about you and like, oh, you need to do this, that, and the third. You need to, you should kill yourself. No, I'm not saying that kind of nonsense. I'm not that kind of an asshole. But what I am going to say is that hopefully, hopefully you can understand why people are upset with you. Hopefully you can finally take responsibility for what's being said because these people know what they're talking about. And hopefully at some point you can grow and be a better person because that's all we can really do. We can just try to grow, be an actually decent person, not try to manipulate our friends into feeling pity or guilt or feel like they're going to lose out on somebody and it's out of their control. I want to see you grow. I want to see you succeed. I want to see you become the actual better person that you claim that you are being. And the only step, and the only person that can make that step is you. It's the only person. I can't do it. I can say to make the steps. Somebody else could say to make the steps. Your significant other, other can try to tell you to make the steps. But you have to be the one to start walking. But anyway. Thank you for watching. I'm probably going to upload this as unlisted. Um, if not, then uh, I look forward to your letters. Hopefully I have more normal content coming soon. I don't like making these rant type videos because I'm not really that great in a rant form as I've learned throughout the times. But, yeah. 
Thank you for watching. Hopefully I have some more music shit coming out soon. And uh, thank you. Thank you for watching.